all he wanted to do was just take his medicine and go to bed. Um, he, he couldn't do anything. He had no quality of life. It is a very magical Christmas Eve for one family in Mount Washington. After six years of excruciating pain, countless trips to the emergency room, and doctors who could not pinpoint the problem, one young man is finally living pain free. I had the chance to sit down with the Stefano family and learn about the angel they say fixed their son's rare medical condition. For the first time in a long time, the Stefano family is smiling and looking ahead. You never knew. Every you just had we had to take one day at a time. You know what? What other things would you like to do? Um, <laughs> get a job. Mom, <laughs> get a job. Mom, get yeah, a job. get a job. I guess. <laughs> Jimmy wants that job, and he wants a driver's license and a pain-free life. The family says it's finally possible thanks to an angel that wears a stethoscope. He is my angel. And I told him that and he's like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm happy to do it. I'm happy to help. They're thankful for UPMC's doctor, Raymond Sekula. The reason Lynn, Jim and their 23 year old son, Jimmy, will celebrate this holiday season. It was a miracle that he was willing to take on Jimmy and uh, be willing to do the surgery. Jimmy's lived his entire life with osteogenesis imperfecta, known as brittle bone disease. So he's no stranger to hospitals or surgeries. I'd say, oh my gosh, 20 or 30 is minimal. How many? Probably like 50. But that lifelong medical condition paled in comparison to the sudden excruciating pain that bolted across his face one day, six years ago. Just um, started getting a lot of pain in my right side of my face, like in over here area. And um, I couldn't, I couldn't like eat or like drink or talk or anything. So it was just real bad for a while. So it's, it's often considered to be the worst pain known to man. Now, what's interesting about his case in particular is that it doesn't generally happen in individuals as young as Jimmy. Dr. Sekula works as a neurosurgeon at UPMC's Presbyterian Hospital and specializes in a chronic face pain called trigeminal neuralgia. When he opened Jimmy's MRIs, he saw it. His skull is, is, is shaped differently than you and I, for instance. Um, and that's a setup. It kind of stretched the nerve and then pushed the blood vessel closer to the nerve. See that blood vessel? It's pressed right up against Jimmy's trigeminal nerve, the reason that he suffered face spasms for six years. He's a, a really inf infrequent type of patient with, with osteogenesis imperfecta and trigeminal neuralgia. It's probably been reported, you know, less than 20 times in the medical literature. But with surgery, he is now finally pain-free. Oh yeah, that's a big relief. It's, it's just so much stress when he's in pain and nothing we can nothing do. We could do. Whenever I went to the surgery, I was hoping that it was going to work, you know. And then now I just feel great because I have no more pain. I can actually eat and talk and do everything that I wish I could have done a while ago. A medical miracle just in time for the holidays. Jimmy is telling me that he is eating tonight and he is finally looking forward to his future. And mom and dad can find peace this Christmas Eve, feeling like a weight has been lifted.